Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. Ah. Hi everyone, Sea Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I post fragrance related content on this platform and would very much appreciate it if you did consider subscribing. Now to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. I appreciate you guys as always. Kindly check out my second channel, guys, Sea Chronicles Unscripted. I'm going to put a, in a an interface of it on this uh, channel and I'm going to leave the link, guys, in the description for ease of transition. On that channel, I feature anything and everything that is outside fragrance related content. And I have a documentary that I'm going to feature on that channel after Vlogmas uh, to do with something that I posted on my community post, guys. If you read some cryptic message on my community post, yes, guys, there is something that's been happening behind the scenes on my channel for the past uh, year or so, uh, where a boss uh, assigned somebody, okay, uh, to try and get into my channel to frustrate the channel uh, but they decided to double dip and then uh, contacted me because I think the payment that they got was not satisfactory enough so we've got all that information but I'm going to drop it on the second channel because we're not about the drama guys on this channel here we're all about fragrance reviews so uh, why I say I'm going to post it possibly in documentary form is we've got the documentation we've got the transfers of the monies between the two parties guys we've got the VoIP numbers that they were using we've got all that information so it's going to be juicy but do expect it on c chronicles uh unscripted not on this particular nice. channel now welcome to today's video today is going to be a first impressions guys on this fragrance when i walked into a latafa store I thought this is off the uh, Musaman uh, fragrances, right? From Ards, Ards, Afrin, but uh, this is a, a tougher fragrance. And this one, guys, is called Hayatim. And uh, when I purchased it, they just simply gave it to me like this. They took a little bag, this pouch, put it in there and then just gave me and I said uh where's the box and they said no this one comes as is so anyway this is Latafa at it again I don't mind the simplistic presentation it's just it is confusing I mean based off the fact that Latafa has been dramatic when it comes to their presentation of you know packages now this is the bottle I absolutely love the work that went on this bottle, guys. This is Hayatim by Latafa. I'm going to give it a quick spray on my arm there. I'm going to be generous with it because I do absolutely like it. Now, this is going to be a third impression. So I purchased this about two, three, about three days ago. Sprayed it when I got home. Sprayed it yesterday. Now we're doing the review. So this is pretty new in my collection. Now, first impressions with this because I don't have a notes is a burst of what feels like a crisp bitter grapefruit there it's spicy it's lively but you are gonna get that crisp accord that i usually associate with grapefruit especially mixing with a fizzy ginger that is the first impressions guys i get from this fragrance so the opening there is gonna shout spice um there is somewhat also a sharp kind of tart like fruit that is in the mix when it comes to this fragrance it could possibly be pineapple but like i say i am you know telling you this off my head because i didn't bother to google it why i did not bother to search for the notes for this is sometimes latafa throws us off and secondly i do have something in my collection that i feel is very much similar to this so i felt mm, okay let me do a side by side comparison and then just clue you up quickly in case you've been seeing this and you've been eyeing it, right? So you're going to get that sharp, tart uh, kind of pineapple there pairing with that crisp grapefruit pairing with a spicy black pepper, something there in the mix coming across is very crisp there. And an effervescent, like a ginger note there and a woody tone. Now, this woody tone to my nose feels as though it's not like, it's not like a wood like a like um say the bark of a tree i'm not associating the woodiness i'm getting from this from like a particular wood it is coming across as though it's um carried by a spice like a spice with a warm woody tone to it um i do not want to say cinnamon but it kind of feels like you know the, like that type of spice like a woody tone spice right that is what i get from this fragrance and then it has the caramel kick now when i said i do have something in my, in my uh, collection that feels like this uh it is 
duplicating that particular fragrance from Latafa to the T until you get to the caramel part. So to my nose, guys, this smells a lot like Al Qaim Silver. An offering that Latafa gave us in the last Latafa Pride collection, a fragrance that was drawing its inspiration from Bulvari Tiger, right? But do remember that there is a caramel weight to this fragrance. So it is going to come across outright first burst there as 60% masculine leaning because there is like a vertiverish thing there that kind of aligns with what you would get from most masculine fragrances. But it is when the caramel weight sweetness there comes into the mix, maybe 30 minutes in there where it comes, starts, starts to give that, that sweetened weight that it then asserts itself as a genderless fragrance, like 50-50 there. But yes of course with little wafts of what some females might identify as masculine leaning to me it is a fragrance that is totally wearable whether you're a woman or you're a man okay but it does share a lot of similarities guys with al Qaim uh, silver a fragrance i enjoyed while i had uh, a tester off okay and i am actually glad i didn't pull the trigger on al Qaim silver not because i did not like the dna i'm absolutely obsessed with the dna of al Qaim silver but Letafa has done it again where they have brought back the same juice in a different bottle so at this point in time guys i, I do not know whether they um take maybe uh, independent orders and then uh, a certain person or a certain company asks them to bottle certain juices in certain, but I don't know at this point in time, guys, because the coincidences are a bit too much where Latafa does seem to present uh, the same juice like spun around and spun around. It, it could just be my nose as well that is just fixated on this one smelling like this. But all I can say, guys, based on my nasal palette is if you love al Qaim Silver, you're probably going to love this. If you have this you're not missing much here uh as long as you know that there is a little bit of a caramel weight uh you know to this particular fragrance in terms of gender i uh, did say that this is to my nose a gender neutral fragrance so a man or a woman can totally wear this whether this is an all seasons uh all year round type however it is a crisp uh spicy Affervescent, a little bit uh, bitter toned grapefruit fruit that's gonna make this one shine the most, especially in the heat. Uh, but there is that warmth. Remember that I said it does dry down to a warm, uh, aromatic, uh, spicy uh, weight of a fragrance there, maybe with a little bit of a uh, a leather but in very very careful doses that's going to make this one able to cross over and be enjoyable even in winter so this is why i'm going to cap it as a winter summer fall type of fragrance guys spring that sort of thing so it's going to be an all year round fragrance three sprays when i got home it was room feeling so this is a fragrance guys that projects this is a fragrance that's going to leave a trail this is going to be one that's going to be favored by anybody who loves fragrances uh, that gets them compliments because this has massive projection now that i've sprayed it in my closet it is probably going to assert itself very lively and very present there for two hours straight so this is a room feeling fragrance guys with a massive projection and on six to seven sprays this thing was able to last about seven to eight hours so another one that is absolutely value for money so if you're looking at gifting somebody a last minute present and this is affordable to you or you love the Bovari tiger dna then you can absolutely purchase this one guys for them age group it has that dna that is likable so i'm gonna cap this one as a fragrance that's totally do doable from the teens to the very mature there because the dna in itself is not a difficult one it's not one that you need to kind of work around it is just one of those dna's though complex because it's not common it's not like a common dna but it is just an enjoyable likable dna that doesn't have that quintessential dna that you get when you walk through a masculine fragrance you know sitting there in a department store that is not what i get from from this with this there is a twist it is that black pepper it is that ginger note it is that uh, sparkly grapefruit mixing, of course, with a caramel there and uh, other fruits, as well as maybe a touch of florals and a touch, a very 
guarded touch of leather that makes this one very unique and very special to the occasion nose. can be for special occasions but if you have a collection as massive as mine this is something that you can wear anytime okay so this does not give me a dna that i'm you know i would want to spray and then maybe go and start working in the garden if you will uh, it does give me like a special occasion type of dna value for money because it's definitely more affordable than al -Qaim. Okay, of the uh, uh, first Latafa Pride collection, at least where I got it from. So if it works out uh, cheaper for you, you can go for this one. Uh, or if you just want, uh, you know, to try your nose on the Bulvari Thai Tiger DNA, punched up, of course, with a sweet caramel weight, you can try this one. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please do remember to go and check out C Chronicles Unscripted. And please do turn on post notifications on both channels, guys, while you're at it that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this one guys and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers